So at this point in the video, we have the stock man arriving and to take the cage out of the area. If I just play it here, you can see here that he, uh, he walks in, drags the trolley, then he pushes the trolley, then he walks around and he grabs the uh, unit and he pulls the unit down. And then he's going to walk away, he walks back, he grabs the uh, trolley and he walks away. Okay, now in this case, what we've done, we've analysed that into three motions. We have the trolley into area here. So he's walking in. And it stops right there. When he positions the trolley. Okay, now he's going to load the cage. And uh, he's walking around and he's, and he's pulling it over. Probably needs some help there. Drops it down. And then he's going to take the cage aside. So we click on this. It takes away. So what I've done is looking at it from process point of view, I broke it into three activities, trolley into area, load cage, and cage aside. If you're looking at it from an ergonomics point of view, you might look at it somewhat differently. So now from the ergonomics point of view, you can see we broke it into a series of steps, trolley into area, position trolley, and then the walk, and then he's going to grasp the cage, he's going to pull the cage, he's going to drop the cage, he's going to walk again, and pull the trolley away. So if we just click on these individually, you see the trolley into area. It stops there, now he's changing position. He's pushing it in. And then he's going to walk around to grab the, uh, the cage. Then he's going to grasp the cage, so he's going to lean over. And then he's going to pull the cage. And then he's going to drop the cage. And then he walks back. And then he's going to pull the trolley away. So you can see what we've done is we've changed it when we're looking at it from this view to, to see all the details of the different motions here. And then what we do is we switch our focus up here from time study to ergonomics. And you can see I've already analyzed this. So now if I double click here, it will bring up the body map. You can see how it's done here. So when he makes this move, you can see I'm saying the stress is on the right arm close this, then he's positioning the trolley, right, so he moves it in here, you can see that here if I double click it here, and I play it there, right, so he's pushing in slightly different stresses here, then he's going to do the walk, and there's obviously no stress involved in that walking around here, and you can see here, there's nothing identified here involved in the walk round, and then he's going to grasp the cage. Now, here is where it's getting a little bit interesting. He's reaching over and so forth. So if we just click on this, you can see how we've analyzed this here. And then he's going to pull the cage. So he's pulling it back here. And we click on, double click on the ergonomics it brings up. This is probably the most stressful part of the whole process. So you can see this. We've all of the dangerous areas here identified here. And then we can go drop the cage. A bit differently here you can see there's going to be a stress on the hand as he controls the drop here and then we're going to have the walk round again which again of course will have no stress because he's just walking and then the final one is the pull trolley away we double click on that and then we can play it right here you can see him pulling it away here so what we've done is we've analyzed each of the individual motions that would be involved from an ergonomics point of view and they're presented here now now then what you do is only when you're in the ergonomics mode so when the focus is on the ergonomics here you can go to the comparison screen and it will automatically have set up a sequence here it will play back the sequence for you right here and all i do is i click on the play and you can see it's going to play each of the steps in turn one after the other and it's showing you the different stresses and how they change as you go through from one motion to the next motion. This is an ideal way to show you where the different stresses might be in a particular job here and show it in real time here along with the video. You can close this here and uh, you can do a step through. So you can click on the step through. It would play one at a time. Pause it right there and just do uh, the next step. It's going to move to the next one. So you can either let, let it run by hitting the play, or you can do the step through, where it will identify each one of the uh, activities from an ergonomic point of view in turn here as you move through it here as well. 
So this is an excellent option that's available to you in the video time study when you're doing ergonomics. You select the ergonomics, make it the focus, and then you're looking at the job a little bit differently here. You're breaking it down into the individual steps that affect the process from an ergonomics point of view rather than from the process point of view.